get a shot of that breast. Which one? She's got two, you know. The one that was nearly bitten off, goddammit. Give me a mold of that breast, because I want to take some tooth impression. Hey, I already have. Very healthy lady. Hey, you're a very funny man, but the last thing I need in my life right now is a comedian, okay? Now, was she sexually assaulted? Every orifice she's got. Anything else? to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! You are not advertiser friendly! Yes, episode number 24, episode number 24, we are a week away from Halloween, the final countdown has begun, and tonight, 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 I am reviewing a movie that I think is kind of under the radar and maybe a little underappreciated especially because it is a unique entry in the what you would say cannibal genre of horror movies or cannibal subgenre whatever you want to call it and that movie is the 1990s ravenous <laughs> so what is ravenous about well back during the um American Mexican War. A soldier is caught in battle and basically freaks out and he decides to play dead. Well, as he's playing dead, he is uh, put in a mass grave and the bodies are piled upon him and blood drops and runs down his throat. And apparently, he becomes overwhelmed with virility and stamina and basically captures the enemy command and he becomes a war hero. Except he's really a coward. And so for his punishment, because the United States Army doesn't want the embarrassment of a war hero being uh, dishonorably discharged for being a coward, they decide to send him into BFE, basically uh, California, in the middle of nowhere to this dead end... Uh, little fort and there one night a stranger appears and collapses outside the fort walls they bring him in nourish him back to health and he has this horrific tale about a a party moving through the the, the mountains and then being overcome by a snowstorm and then their food quickly running out and them having to resort to cannibalism and he escapes with his life, feeling that his number was going to be punched soon. Well, of course, that was all a lie and a trick, because he really is the one who is the cannibal. And apparently, in this movie, when you eat the flesh of another human being, you gain their power, you gain their virility, and it has great rejuvenative and healing powers. In fact, he uh, really, really, really loves the flesh and the way it makes him feel. And apparently, the more you eat, the more you crave, and the more your hunger grows. Almost like zombies, except you're completely um, cognizant and quite capable. So basically, yes, the movie is uh, about a cannibal and someone who is a reluctant camel cannibal facing off with the lives of, well, countless people who are going to be passing through that, that fort at any time. So, let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am giving it a three and a half out of five. There, it is very bloody. The movie does have quite a bit of blood, though a lot of it is aftermath blood and, uh, Aftermath guts, but still pretty gory and pretty nasty. Three and a half out of five. Shock value, there's a couple 
uh, good scares in here. However, most of it's the, sh the shock of the whole cannibal uh, situation and what people will do and the way that uh, the guy acts. Man, Mr. Calhoun. Oh, dude, he he is definitely a character. I mean, I guess you're getting a little bit of that meat madness, right? So. Shock value, 2 out of 5. Plot, I am giving this a 4 out of 5. There's a very interesting twist toward the end that uh, is, is pretty, pretty cool. And the whole idea behind this, this guy uh, and what he wants to do and his plans for uh, our main character, the reluctant cannibal. Uh, apparently, he just, he wants to uh, have a friend. A friend, uh, a dining partner, if you will. <laughs> because the cannibal life is such a lonely life anyways but yeah I, I thought that the the plot was very original and well well done I mean there's not really much in the way of holes that I at least see and there's nothing that bothers me and sticks out that says well this is this is I mean it's a ridiculous concept but still I think it was well executed and well laid out and well written so uh, kudos. Plus, there, there, there is, there is some, some, some good dialogue. Uh, you know, you get the the kind of um, evil mastermind speech in there. So yes, I guess there is some cliche to it, but uh, still a very solid four out of five. Acting, I'm also giving this a four out of five. Uh, the 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 main two roles are just spectacular, uh, but like <laughs> like Guy Pierce. Uh, he doesn't, I mean, he has lines, but there's not a lot of talking. He's kind of almost like lost, um, in, in, in the, in the situation. And you see that, uh, through his uh, emotions, his eyes and his, his body language. And so, uh, I have to give a lot of props to actors who can really speak without speaking. So, and, and honest, honestly, the only weak part is David Arquette in this movie. I mean, he too much uh for for what he, he's just like every time he was on screen i was like oh get him off please someone kill him but don't eat him because you don't want to steal that power anyways so four out of five though for the most part brilliant uh nudity 0.25 out of five um look it's man ass so <laughs> for the ladies there you go. Anyways, so uh, enjoyment factor. I am giving this a solid four out of five. The movie has is has fun in it. Uh, it is you know kind of a, a dark uh, comedy in in itself. I mean it's it's serious. It's it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it does have kind of a a little bit of a more light tone than you would think for a cannibal movie. And I think that helps because it gives it uh, some levity. Otherwise, it's just completely gruesome and, and, and harsh throughout. And I think that brilliantly lightens it. And uh, it's just, it's entertaining, it's fun, especially if you like kind of like those uh, historical fiction type, type movies. Uh, I mean, I, I I thought it was it was very very well done, interesting and entertaining. And the first time I watched it in the theaters, I was I was like, wow, this is this is great, this is really cool. And so, anyways, picked it up on the DVDs, of course. Yeah, actually, I think you can even find this uh, for real cheap nowadays. But um, yeah, ravenous. Four out of five enjoyment factor. My overall impression is a three and a half out of five. It's an original fun, violent movie, uh, well acted, well plotted, Just a little bit of uh, some pacing issues here and there, uh, but overall I think a very solid and underappreciated horror movie. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it, especially when they're talking about cannibal movies. You always hear about the cannibal holocaust, the cannibal ferox, and, and uh, things like uh, you know, the Green Inferno uh, more recently. Uh, this one, I don't know, is kind of like a little bit lost in that. I don't know, maybe because it's not as like throat rippingly graphic. I mean, they, they sort of kind of kill you before you eat. <laughs> they, <laughs> he eats you sort of, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, uh, but still uh, a very wonderful and solid film. A ravenous, and that averages out to a solid... Excellent three out of five. 
So tell me what you think. Have you seen Ravenous? Leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think this is a uh, underappreciated gem, or do you think this is like dog shit and should be like shoveled out into the uh, the pasture? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm getting all delirious. Anyways, uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share. All that good stuff. And remember, I will see you next time. So stay sexy, internet. Stay scary internet my god i'm almost forgetting my shit oh my god i'm losing it i am losing it man a week to go let's see if i can make it okay so stay sexy stay scary and um you are what you eat i guess in my case i'm spaghetti and meat sauce right now <laughs>